Our guest on This is America and the World is the ambassador of the Republic of Indonesia to the United States, Rosan Roslani. In November, Indonesia was the host country for the G20 summit in Bali and in 2023 chairs ASEAN, the Association of Southeast Asian Nations. The ambassador formerly served as chairman of the Indonesia Chamber of Commerce and studied finance at Oklahoma State University. Thank you, Ambassador. It's a pleasure to be with you. Thank you. Thank you, Dennis, for having me also. Tell us three things we should know about Indonesia. Well, I can tell you a lot of things about Indonesia, but at least three things that I can uh, mention to you that Indonesia is the largest archipelago country in the world with more than 17,000 islands. Um, and we are the fourth most populous country in the world with the biggest Muslim population in the world. Mm -hmm. If you're combining all these Middle East country, we still have more Muslim in Indonesia. Wow. Yeah, and then uh, third largest democracy also in the world. Uh, and we are a very diverse country, you know. We have more than 700 languages <laughs> yeah, with 1,300 ethnic group. Uh, so we are, you know, because of the location of Indonesia, we've been influenced by a lot of uh, different uh, countries, uh, you know, Arab, Chinese, Indian, European. So we are a very uh, diverse country, but in the same time also, you know, we, we are a very stable country. Mm -hmm. We are maintaining the growth of 5% or more every year. Even in this challenging time, we still manage to, to grow about 5%. Um, and we're also enjoying this uh, uh, bonus demography, uh, meaning that our median age uh, about close to 30 years old. Well, still very young, very productive. And also we still manage uh, our inflation about, about 5%. So uh, we are looking good, even though in this uh, challenging time. Mm. Yeah. So, so what's what's the, the 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 population of Indonesia? Oh, the population of Indonesia is about currently is about two hundred seventy eight million people. So we produce around like close to four million babies every year. So we produce <laughs> almost one Singapore every year. Whoa! Yes. Whoa. So uh, and about. 85 to 87 percent is uh, Muslim. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, uh, capital city is the capital city is Jakarta. Uh -huh. It's located in uh, in Java, uh, which is the most uh, you know populated uh, in in Indonesia, island Indonesia. Uh -huh. uh, and then we also have uh, a lot of uh, different island uh, Indonesia, uh, five big island Indonesia, but so so tell us about some of the other islands as well and what happens there. Well, uh, the, the other island, mostly the big five, is like Java, Sumatra, Kalimantan, Sulawesi, and Papua. But uh, most of the, more than 50% of the uh, economic is in Java area. And then uh, the rest, uh, you know, spread around uh, Sumatra, uh, Kalimantan, Sulawesi, and also of uh, Papua and, 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 and Bali. When you talk about the 17... Thousand island? Yeah. 17, I was going to say 100, 17,000 17, <laughs> 17,000 island, yes. So how did people go back and forth? I mean, or I, I, I would gather that most of the people uh, live around Jakarta. Is that, is that true? Maybe a big portion of the population? Uh, the, the big portion of the population live in, in Java area. Uh, but in Jakarta alone, uh, on the daylight, it's like close to 20 million people. Whoa. Yeah, but on the, uh, you know, I think it's about 15, I believe about 15 million people live in, in, in Jakarta. And uh, we have other big cities uh, all over Indonesia. Uh, so can you imagine uh, 20 million people in one city? So... Uh, what, what, how do people go back and forth to the different islands? Uh, do, is it plane, a boat, I guess? Um, well, mostly by plane because it's... Uh, our our uh, domestic flight uh, went to almost all these uh, different cities and different islands in Indonesia, uh, and 
even though Indonesia uh, is actually the size of Indonesia is slightly bigger than from California to New York. So it takes about seven hours flying time wow, wow. from eastern part of Indonesia to the to the uh, western part of Indonesia. So it's not only an island country, but it's a vast country. It's a huge country. Yes, it is a huge country. And are people living in all of the islands or most of the islands? Or there um, must be a, 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 and you mentioned different ethnic groups. Yeah, well, I think from 17,000 islands, I think it's about 6,000 island inhabitants. Mm -hmm. uh, um, mostly in the, in the big island. Uh, uh, more than 50 percent is uh, in, in, in Java area, ah. in Java area. So you're mentioning all these languages, all of these different ethnic groups. Uh, the, the, I like the motto of the country is unity in diversity. Well, you certainly have the diversity, huh? Oh, yes, uh, 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 definitely. In Indonesia, we, we, we say Bineka Tunggal Ika, uh -huh. which is translated into unity in diversity. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, you know, with uh, total different background, education, and also uh, 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 ethnic groups, languages. Uh, unity is is the key mm -hmm. for us. And uh, you know, even though we have seven hundred languages, uh, our common uh, language, which is uh, we call it Bahasa, Bahasa Indonesia, uh -huh. uh, widely used in in you know most part of Indonesia, is like a glue. Ah, it's like a glue for for. So the language is the glue. Yeah, one of them, the language is the glue. And even people said that, you know, because of diversity can be, for us is actually it's a strength because we can have a different uh, feedback, a different idea, uh -huh. uh, you know, different uh, innovative solution. Uh, if we have, you know, some issues uh, among these this, this people in Indonesia. Uh, I know it's, it's a republic. Yeah. And uh, they call it a presidential republic. Uh, what does that mean, and how different is it from the United States? Well, uh, yeah, Indonesia is a republic. Uh, uh, the president, uh, you know, uh, run everything, and uh, he's supported by all these minister level. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, we, we, you know, we have not everything is centralized actually is decentralized. Uh, we have uh, now, what in the past is 34 states. We just increased it to 30 now, like 37 states uh -huh. uh, in Indonesia. Uh, and, you know, they, they, they support each other. Uh, and we try to have, you know, the accessible for people to travel all over Indonesia uh -huh. because that's the key also. So, so, so it must be a job to govern, uh, but you say it's kind of spread out, it's kind of centralized, so it's kind of maybe regions or states, huh? Yes. Similar to ours. Yes, yes. Uh, but uh, the president is practically he's uh, the person in charge uh, to run to run the the, the country. Is there a, is there a uh, like a House of Representatives or senators? Is there is there a parliament as well? Yes, yes, yeah. We have a, a parliament. Uh, or also, we have the uh, senators uh, in Indonesia, and uh, and they have this executive and legislative, and they are all equal in Indonesia. Ah, yeah. Let us take a little break uh, right now uh, and say to the folks at home: We're talking. Uh, it's an honor to be here at the Embassy of Indonesia. We're talking with the ambassador, learning about the country. Here in America, we just don't know enough about Indonesia. So we're going to take some time uh, to investigate. So sit tight. We'll be back on the other side. This is America and the World. This is America and the World is made possible by the Japan America Society of Washington, D.C. 21st Century Citizenship, the Frank Islam and Debbie Dreisman Foundation, the Republic of Uzbekistan, the Sultanate of Oman, the Kingdom of Morocco, the Forerunner Foundation, the Rotondaro Family Trust, 
and the Embassy Series, Uniting People Through Musical Diplomacy. Mr. Ambassador, what would you say with all the diversity, with all the, the influences that you've had over the years, um, Muslim country, what percentage of people uh, practicing, uh, practicing Muslims? Uh, Islam is the country, is the, is the religion. Hmm. Yeah, the, the majority of Indonesian is Muslim. Mm -hmm. I mentioned that earlier, it's about 80, 85 to 87% of our population is Muslim. Uh -huh. But Indonesia, we uh, acknowledge also uh, five other religion uh, in Indonesia, uh, uh, Protestantism, Catholicism, Buddhism, Hinduism, and also uh, Confucianism. Uh, so we also acknowledge those four, uh, those five. So that's why we end up having a lot of holidays. Uh -huh. <laughs> in the past, uh, Hinduism and Buddhism were very much in focus. Huh? They played a major role over the years. Huh? Well, yes, uh, uh, around the, I think the, the, the four, uh, uh, around the, the, during the, the four, until like the 14, uh, uh, we see uh, Hinduism and Buddhism have a strong influence in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. So that's why, it shows that you know one of the biggest uh, Buddhism temple in the world is located in in Indonesia. Whoa. To be precise, in in, in Java. Ah. And uh, they are still uh, you know uh, doing the religious activity in that temple. Mm -hmm. And for for Hindu, Hinduism also mostly in uh, in Bali area. Uh -huh. uh, uh, Catholic, Protestant. Uh, uh, also mostly in Sulawesi, in the eastern part, in Maluku, also in Papua. Uh, so uh, we all this religion, they are working together. So if you come to Indonesia, you can see a lot of places, a lot of cities in Indonesia, they have this temple, mosque, church located side by side. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they can, they can use that, 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 that place for each other. Oh wow! Yeah. Wow! 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 So, so, for example, if you come to Bali, you can find that 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 all these uh, uh, religious uh, place they they work together and located in the in one area. Uh, so most of the country is uh, is Muslim, but Bali is pretty much Hindu. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Uh, Bali pretty much Hindu. Uh, Nusa Tenggara is uh, uh, also mostly is uh, uh, Christianity. Uh, if I'm talking about north of Sulawesi, also mostly uh, Christianity, Papua. So we, we are very spread around. Mm. You know. What do you uh, say uh, when the West, people in the West, uh, don't understand Islam? What, what are we missing? What, 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 what can, can you help us understand a little bit about the religion itself? Well, Muslim in Indonesia, we are very open and we are very tolerant. Mm -hmm. uh, we, you can see uh, you know, along, along from the long history that we, we always live side by side with a lot of different religion. Uh -huh. uh, we support each other. Uh, we, are, we are respecting the, our differences. Mm -hmm. and, and actually it's been, a, a, again, a strength for us. It shows that uh, all religion can live happily in Indonesia, uh -huh, uh -huh. without any issues, without any problems, as it shows that that's the the the, the Islam in Indonesia mm -hmm. is very peaceful, very tolerant, very open, and also we always re respect each other. Ah, so um, is there something that we should know here in America about Islam that? Um, I, I want to go back and ask that question again that we're, we're, we're missing because uh, we've traveled a great deal in the Middle East and been to a number of countries. And I find the warmth and hospitality in those countries is just absolutely amazing. And I would imagine it would be true in Indonesia as well. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, we are very welcoming. We are, we are very warm uh, as, a, as a people of Indonesia. And we, and we are very open to any idea, a, any feedback, right? And uh, Muslim in, in Indonesia, I mean, is very warm also. Uh, we are as a, a, the biggest Muslim population in the world. That's the face of Muslim Indonesia. Ah. Uh, you know, uh, 
and if the, you know we 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 always open for discussion uh very open minded uh and you know we again we always support each other even though you know we are having different region uh with our neighbors with our even with our own family you mentioned your neighbors let's put a map on the screen and tell me uh, as as you're talking we'll see the map on the screen a little bit about the neighborhood the other countries in the area well uh, uh our neighbors in the north part is uh, malaysia and then on the eastern part uh beside papua is uh, papua new guinea is uh, papua new guinea and then on the south part is with uh, timor leste mm -hmm. uh we consider also our neighboring countries with singapore mm, on the on the uh, indian ocean mm -hmm. and with australia also uh uh then you know we have a lot of uh, neighboring countries actually uh, uh -huh. surrounded indonesia so so this area would be classified as southeast asia huh? yes sir, southeast, southeast asia. Asia. why why is southeast asia important uh in the world well uh, if you're looking at the southeast asia the population is about more than 650 million people the fifth largest combining economic in the world right and then you know we are mostly in asean we are in the in the in the you know uh growing countries mostly uh you know young population mm -hmm. uh and that's it the asean is is becoming the future of, econ of economic powerhouse you mentioned asean yeah. help us understand what asean means uh, as asean i mean about asean oh okay well asean uh, if i have to mention about asean asean is Uh, consists of uh, 10 countries uh, -huh. uh Indonesia is one of the founding uh, uh countries uh back then around I think 1967 uh in Bangkok the uh, declaration of five countries uh uh Indonesia Malaysia Philippines Singapore and Thailand mm. uh as to, to become ASEAN and then other five countries joining which is Brunei uh Vietnam Cambodia Laos and Myanmar So ASEAN is is a uh, uh, So ASEAN means the Association of Southeast Asian yeah. Nations, right? Yeah. Actually it's a regional association mm -hmm. uh to promote uh economic, political and cultural cooperation uh among members countries. Uh cooperation. Yes, cooperation. So uh we then ASEAN we always maintain peace and stability uh in in ASEAN uh so asean play a very uh, uh significant role in 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 the global map uh in term of economy population political social and a lot of and a lot of other things the uh the uh we think of korea we think of japan china of course in there and you are south uh, southern yeah. of, south of that correct yeah yeah um China is a delicate balance because I know a lot of the countries are doing trade with uh, China, right? Yes. So so is there something we should know or something we should know about the ASEAN countries as they relate to China? Well, uh you know most of the countries they are doing trade and also economic activity with China. Mm -hmm. Uh and China play a very important role in especially in trade. Uh trade. including Indonesia they are the number one trading partner of Indonesia yeah number two is US ah. yeah and also it happens in a lot of different uh, uh, ASEAN countries uh, so to to maintain all the uh, good relationship uh, is very important for us uh, and because you know uh, peace and stability I think is the core of ASEAN mm -hmm. uh, to maintain and to continue focus on the pros uh, prosperity and economic growth and sustainability is it is it a delicate balance uh, uh for indonesia vis-a-vis -vis china vis-a-vis -vis the united states or is it is it easier than we would think no we try to keep it you know everything in balance uh-huh uh that's why we are very open 
uh, to all the, the inputs and feedback from, from all these uh, superpower countries because they are all important, not only for us, not only for ASEAN, but also to the world. Ah, yes. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. So uh, maintaining peace and stability in the world is that's that's also the key mm. for for all of us. Yeah. What what pushes the economy of of uh, of uh, Indonesia? What drives the economy? Well, the economy in Indonesia actually uh, mostly uh, drive for our strong domestic consumption. Ah. Yeah. Like the United States. Yeah. 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 About about fifty six fifty seven percent our economic growth come from domestic consumption. Uh -huh. Close to 30% from investment, uh -huh. less than 10% uh, government spending, and then a little portion from trade. Is it is it um, uh, industrial, uh, agricultural services? W what makes up the economy? Yes, uh, those three makes up the economy. Uh, uh, the contribution, uh, the largest contribution, is from uh, services. If I'm not mistaken, close to like 41, 42 percent, uh -huh. and then from uh, industry, is about uh, 37, 38 percent, and then agriculture is about uh, 13 percent. Oh, smaller now. Smaller. Yeah, we yeah. used to have a big contribution from ag agriculture. Yeah. But in terms of the uh, 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 absorption of the workforce, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, agriculture counted about uh, 29 percent. Ah, yeah, uh -huh. uh, services counted uh, 49 percent. Uh, when they say services, what what are we talking about? Banking oh, or yeah, telecommunication? Telecom yeah, uh, uh, financial services, mm -hmm. banking, uh, and uh, uh, and other other stuff. Where does uh, tourism fit into the economy of uh, Indonesia? Well, uh, tourism also playing a, a, a important role in our economy. Actually, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, tourism industry uh, contribute about 5.6, 5.7% 5 to our GDP. Okay. And it creates jobs for like close to 13 million people. Whoa. Yeah. You know, our tourism industry, we have 2019, I'm talking about 2019, about 16 million people. Before the pandemic. Be before pandemic, yeah. because yeah. after the pandemic, you know, everything is collapsing, especially the in the in the tourism industry. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and uh, we are pushing for our uh, tourism industry to, to keep growing. Uh, Who comes? Who, wh where do they come from, mostly? Uh, mostly from uh, Malaysia, Singapore, uh, uh, China. In the area. Australia. Uh -huh. uh, and I think from the US, 2019 is close to 500,000 people. Oh, OK. Yeah. OK. Yeah. So um, if, if I wanted to get on a plane and go to Indonesia, how would I get there? What would, what would be the route? How would, what would from, from from US? Yeah, from Washington, Dallas, oh, Washington. Oh, from Washington, you can go via Dubai or via Abu Dhabi or via Japan or direct flight to. I mean, you can go also to Singapore. Uh, so uh, yeah, a, a, a lot of it's very accessible. So if people want to go to uh, say Dallas to Tokyo or Dallas to Seoul. Yeah. Or the Middle East, as you mentioned, Dubai, something like yeah. that. Then the second leg, how long is that from, from say, Korea or Dubai to uh, Indonesia? Okay, from here to Dubai, for example, is about 13, 13 to 14 hours. Yeah, yeah. And then from Dubai to Indonesia is about eight, eight hours. Okay, okay. Eight to, to yeah, about eight to nine hours. Okay. Uh, seven, seven to eight hours. So totally, all in all, is about 24 hours flying. Oh, you figured 24 hour flight. Yeah. Okay. With the, with the transit, it's about 24 hours flight. Okay. Yeah. If you were our a tour guide, uh, what would you have us see? What would you have us do? What would you have us experience? Well, if I'm a, a tourist guide, uh, I, I, most of people know about Bali, right? Bali, yeah. Yeah, definitely Bali. Uh, and, and actually, Bali is, you know, well known. For you know, popular tourist destination, they, they know Bali even than, than Indonesia. Sometimes, <laughs> you know, I get the question, oh, you know, where's Bali loca uh, located? Is it uh, near Indonesia? I said, no, Bali is in Indonesia actually, <laughs> right? And uh, and Bali. So yeah, I'm I'm not going to to explain about Bali because, uh, but we have a lot of other places actually all over Indonesia, which is which is 
gorgeous, very exciting also. Uh -huh. uh, namely like Labuan Bajo, for example, which is like half an hour from, from uh, Bali by plane. Uh, there's a Komodo dragon. The only uh, 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 big uh, uh, reptile exists in the world. And they have one of the best dive, uh, diving spot in the world. You're a diver too. Yeah, I'm a, a diver. So uh, you can come to, to Labuan Bajo, uh, very nice uh, beaches. And also you can come to Papua. Also, they said that's the Mecca for uh, the diving spot. For information about This Is America and the World, visit our YouTube channel, This Is America TV. Visit our website, thisisamerica.net, and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. This Is America and the World is made possible by the Japan America Society of Washington, D.C. 21st Century Citizenship the Frank Islam and Debbie Dreisman Foundation. The Republic of Uzbekistan. The Sultanate of Oman. The Kingdom of Morocco. The Forerunner Foundation. The Rotondaro Family Trust. And the Embassy Series, Uniting People through musical diplomacy. Mm -hmm.